In this example, looking at trip generation, we're asked to estimate the number of trips that a new 4,500 square foot McDonald's restaurant that has a drive through window would generate during the restaurant's weekday morning peak hour. And then an additional question here is how many seats would you expect to be present in this new restaurant? So we're going to start with the IT trip generation handbook. This is going to be land use code 934. This is a fast food restaurant with drive through window. And we're going to look through this and we're, we're told information that we were given that we need to look for the peak hour of that restaurant. So that's the peak hour of the generator. And it was a weekday morning, so weekday a.m. peak hour of generator. And we want to look at the per thousand square feet of gross floor area. And from the IT trip generation handbook, that's 50.97 vehicle trip ends per thousand square feet of gross floor area. And similarly, what's going to be helpful for us on the seat side is this other value of 1.36 vehicle trip ends per seat for weekday AM peak hour of generator. So those are the, the comparable values. So we're going to take our input, the 4,500 square feet, multiplied by our rate, our average rate of 50.97 trips per thousand square feet, gives us approximately 230 trips. And again, this is during that peak hour, morning peak hour on a weekday for this McDonald's. On the other side, we're asked some information about the seats. How many seats would we expect there? So we're expecting 230 trips. And we have this relationship of trips to seats, so 1.36 trips per seat. So if we divide our estimated number of trips by the number of trips per seat, this will leave us with a value of 169 seats we would expect in this restaurant if that relationship holds true. So this is somewhat of an estimate. If the number of seats that end up getting installed are greater than this, we may need to take a look at the trip generation characteristics and maybe it's more aligned with seats than with the gross floor area. But this is one way we could get some insights into the number of seats this restaurant may have.